I have a really exciting addition to the base in Avermancia today that you can get involved with. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avermance, and we are in Avermance here again today it is episode, I think, is it episode six? Awesome. We have got that house in the background built up just a little bit more. We're going to go and look have a look at that in a minute. And I've done a little bit more roads because you know me, loving the roads. But what we are going to do today is something just a little bit special, something that I really, really want to add to this particular survival world that you guys can all get involved with. We're going to go and have a look at that in just a moment. And we're actually going to start it today. But, um, it's, yeah, I'm just really, really excited about it. But before I do anything, I just want to give a little bit of a shout out to two people. Now, you two guys, I know, watch the channel quite a lot. And I've been having a chat with your mum. Yes, I have. Your mother's been talking to me. And she has told me that every time that you hear my voice in the background, it makes her jump. And that made me laugh enough to want to give you a shout out. So, Alex and Aaron Tolbert, hello, it is good to see you, thanks very much for watching, shout out to you, and I'm going to do something for you a little bit later on in this video, and well, you just have to keep watching to find out what it is, won't you? Anyway, should we go and have a look and see what I've done in the background? I reckon we should. So, I've done a bit more road, you can see up here we've got the road, and this is going to be, actually, I don't quite know what this is going to be yet, it could be something interesting, it might just be an open space, but I'll probably put a building or two in it, but you see we've got this building here, which is a bit hall-like, and I've built this, so as it's got a few entrances, let's go in, in this entrance, look, there we go, open the door, and it's a big old hall, look at that, nice hall, liking it, I still haven't got item frames, because I've not found any cows, and I need the leather from the cows to get the item frames, and actually I want to breed the cows before I start getting the leather, otherwise I'll end up killing whatever cows I've got, and that is what is going to mark up what I put in the storage system. And then I come all the way along. Look at a nice open ceiling all the way along here. And if I actually get out the door, there we go. Boom, there we go. And I am back in by my farm and by my front door. And that is kind of the development of that particular part of the base so far. However, I've done something else and I want to share it with you because I think it's quite exciting. So like I said, I wanted to show you what we have done since last time. So oh, almost crashed into the thing then. Right, so we have built up the observatory. At least we built the start of the observatory. If you can see here, I've got the entrance as it was before. If I come around this side, you can see like we've got uh, kind of some nice walls and bits and pieces that we've built up there. Ignore what goes on in front of you and come up here. And we've got... <coughs> kind of is the beginning of what I want, but I'm going to build up on this a little bit more, I think. But what I did want to show you is this bit down here. We are building a bridge. It's going to be like a suspension bridge, and it's going to go all the way. Can you see the misty land that... Uh, just coming up and down and up and down. The misty land all the way over there in the horizon. You can see I've still got the uh, dirt scaffolding that I'm using to absolutely... Uh, allow me to be able to build this because if I didn't have that I just simply wouldn't be able to get this built um, all the way over there it only just comes into view so it's not quite spawned in when I am here at the spawn area so that's what I'm after I want something that isn't going to affect lag I want something that's going to kind of be on its own when it spawns in the chunks spawn in it only spawns in this area and doesn't spawn in the spawn chunks or Obviously, the spawn chunks are always spawned in, but it doesn't have an effect on the spawn chunks in quite the same way as it would do if it was built perhaps there, right in front of me. If I did that, this build could perhaps have some serious problems. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to carry on uh, building this bridge because this bridge, if I come around this way, you can see this bridge here um, is reliant entirely upon me... Um, being able to walk along this scaffolding so it's like a tightrope of dirt and obviously when I finish this bridge I'm going to have to go on Abba you know you want to sprint there we go look we sprinting along the tightrope of dirt and once we get to the other side I'm going to have to remove all this dirt which in itself is going to be a pain you have no clue how long it is taking to make this blooming bridge and also with these legs that go down not to the bottom they only go a few blocks down but long enough so as it looks like they go all the way down to the bottom 
because if I went all the way down to the bottom, I'd probably drown and I can't see. And that's not something anybody wants in their life. So let's carry on with this and I'll perhaps be back when I've done either a little bit more or who knows, all of it. Well, I went just a little bit mad. Um, I did finish it. I finished the bridge and I also finished the bringing down the dirt scaffolding bit as well. And... I lost quite a lot of dirt blocks into the sea, which is no ma massive surprise, really. So I've had to refill my resources with a couple of stacks of dirt blocks to enable me to build what I want to do next with a little bit more scaffolding, should I need it. So this is what I've got in my inventory now. Quite a lot of bits and pieces, some wood, some fences, cobble and whatnot, and a little bit of food, which I'm probably going to eat in a minute. But what I've done, I'm going to show you what I've done. Hello, black sheep. I'm going to show you what I've done with the bridge yeah look i made a suspension bridge i'm really pleased with it as well look at that it looks really really cool um i've used fences to create the dangly ropey bits and obviously slabs as i showed you before to do the actual bridge bit but i think it looks amazing look it goes all the way off into the distance i've been doing this for I don't even want to think how long this has taken me to do it. But I really think it's worth it. It looks absolutely amazing. So we're going to go along it. And we're going to run along it, actually. Let's come up here. Up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight bounces up to there. And we're going to run along it and see how long it's going to take us. Let's get on with it. Coming to the end of the bridge here, you can see it is a very, very long bridge, but actually takes us to a really nice new set of what I assume are islands, but there might not be islands, of course. I suppose this could be a mainland for all I know. I've not actually had the chance to um, explore it, but what I want to do is if I come along here, the sun is going down, so I've got to watch out for nasties that want to eat my face. Um, obviously, that would be bad, but what I want to do is I want to get this hill bit here and flatten it out just a little bit more so as I can see what's on the other side but so as I can build uh, a bit of a buildy thing here and we're going to do that together or at least we're going to do it kind of together but I need to build up this platform so as we've got a bit of an entrance from the other side of the fence and I've just realized I've not got a spade with me have I foolish foolish man not got a spade with me to help me level out this hill so but I've got wood and stuff, so I can at least make a crafting table and I could make a stone shovel, which would be better than nothing. So I'm going to get this bit terraformed and this bit kind of built out a little bit more because that's not a big enough platform. And um, I'll be back when I've done that. Let's crack on. So we have made some serious progress here. I've got that floating thing up in the distance. I can't get to it yet, but that thing is coming down at some point in the future. I do not like it. But I have managed to flatten out Look at this, like quite a lot of stuff. This is, and I've had to put a load of dirt in as well, obviously. So a lot of the dirt that I dug out, I've put back in because I wanted to replace the stone with the dirt, which is good. So I've got a little pool there, which is nice. Maybe I can make a feature of that, don't know. But we've got a nice flat surface and our bridge, I'll come over here. Our bridge is kind of up and level with this bit here. So what we need to do is we need to use the stuff that I've got in my inventory, which is all of this stuff, and Potentially, some of this stuff as well that I've just collected as a result of digging all of this out and basically make something a little bit interesting. So I'm going to get on with that. First thing I want to do really is to create a road that's coming into this one here. So how wide have I got this? Have I done this right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, result. So that means that if I come in one, two, that is one, two, three three four five i've only gone and done it right and i so one whoops hang on let's get me shovel get me shoveling me hand one two three four and five that is basically our road bit so let me get where's me where's me steps there's me steps right so seven one and two one and two and then i can create the road inside of that so it go all there, that there, and have I got smooth stone? Yes, I've got smooth stone. I thought I did. Uh, so we can stick one smooth stone in there, one of those in there, 
and boom, 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 boom. Okay, so that is the start of another road. And then if I just pick up the shovel, there we go. Right, so we got that and that like that. And we stick that there, that there, that there, and that there. That means we can then put steps up to that. And we're creating the next level, which is going to take us to where we want to be. Right, so I'm going to carry on doing this. And once I've finished doing this, I will come back to you with kind of what it is I've done so far. So it's going to be quite interesting. Don't you go anywhere. You need to know what's happening. So I've put a bit of a roof on. So if you're coming along the bridge, hello, Mr. Bridge, and you've got a nice roof that you are received that merges into the top of the bridge there quite nicely. It just capped off. I've got to do some extra work around here. These aren't stopping. These have got to go eventually. Um, and I'll trim this off in some way. And then this comes through to another nice arch. I'll probably ornate up a little bit more. More road, obviously, like a good road. These pillars here are for the street lamps. I've not got any glowstone with me, so I'm going to have to come back with some glowstone and some trapdoors to make these street lamps. Then we have another arch like that that I'm definitely going to put some more ornating onto. Um, then the road kind of starts to become less of a road, then becomes a path. And after you get to the path, we've got a, I suppose you could call it a randomly shaped sh shape. Of, it's a randomly shaped shape. Well done with your vocabulary there, Evermans. It's a randomly shaped shape of oak wood blocks and Mr. Chicken. And this is going to be the shape of the, the structure. Now, some of these bits are going to have to come out. I reckon I'm probably going to put an open in there, for example. But I'm going to turn this into a building of some description, but relatively open plan because it's a building that's only got one single function so i'm just going to do a little bit more on that and i'll be back when i finished right i decided i'm keeping this properly simple so what i've done is i've put a row you can see a row of um oakwood slabs all the way around the outside i've got a load of oak blocks all the way around there we've got a path going down the middle separated by little fence posts which may or may not stay i'm not sure we've lit it up just to keep the mobs away and then all the way at the end here i've got two blocks just two blocks there one and two that have got um, torches on none of the other blocks have got torches on yet that's because these are going to be today's active blocks because what we have got here we have got the avamancia mates base if you watched the um, avos journey series the survival series i did you'll know that about part way through I put in a mate space and the mate space was where I put in people's names who'd done something I don't know maybe just a little bit out of the ordinary these are my survival world shout outs so any of you guys can get yourself on here however I'm not responding to can I have a shout out or can you put me in the mate space that's not how it works in fact if you do that you're less likely to get yourself in you're going to get into the mate space if and only if you do something just a little bit out of the ordinary and that is the way you're going to do it and I'm hoping to I mean maybe I won't put one in every episode but probably I will and um, I think that's almost uh, very very likely in fact that will put one almost every episode and will it be you that is the question so today our mates base are gonna have two now normally I probably only do one but today I'm gonna have two and this is so this is episode what are we six and today's mate space person is Alex Tolbert. For some reason, narrator came on, which is very annoying. But there you go. Episode six, Alex Tolbert. And can you guess who this one's going to be? I hope I spell this right. Episode six. I'm writing episode six so I can keep track of when it was. And this is going to be Aaron Tolbert. He's done it again. I don't want the chat. Uh, that's very annoying. Is there a way to turn that off? I'm sure there must be some way of doing that in the controls. So there you go. Episode 6. Alex Talbot, Aaron Talbot, the first members of the mate space. I shouted you out at the beginning of the episode. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get shouted out if you're mentioned at the beginning of the episode. It could be that halfway through the episode, I just jump to the mate space and goodness only knows who I could put in it. And I hope that that might be a little bit of fun. If you think that's a good idea, please do say so in the comments below. But please don't say give me a shout out because that is not how it's going to work. 
There you go. One mate space. I'm going to jazz that up far, far more. But I reckon that is not too bad. And I am going to call that a day. That is the end of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. That bridge is... I'm, I'm very, very pleased with the bridge. I think it's taken so long to make that I'm just really, really pleased with it. And you can't even see where the spawn is all the way across there. Not all the bridges are going to be connecting... Um, the islands like this some of the bridges are going to be dead dull but this one i thought let's make it dead flash because it is the way to the mate space and it may be the way to i don't know a lot of other stuff as well who knows anyway if you've enjoyed that video that's enough blithering for me if you enjoy that video please do make sure you slap that like button it'd be great to get some likes and then i know you're enjoying the series and i'll know to make more and if you haven't done it already please do make sure you hit that subscribe button it'll be great to see you in my sub club and i look forward to seeing you in another video you take it easy now bye